Hey, 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 Ronnie. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm good, doing? good. You ever think back on your life and think to yourself, I wonder how my life would be if I never got married and stayed single my whole life. You ever think about that? Mm, I am right now. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know what? We have scientific fact about what happens to men who stay bachelors forever. Wow. And that's on the next Men Are So Smart. I can't wait. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And if you're new to our show, thank you very much for watching. We hope you'll subscribe and click the bell. When you do so, you'll get notifications each and every time a new show comes out. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and feel free at any point to leave comments in our videos below. Men who never get married and have children are many things, and not all of them are sad and lonely, as some people that you might know. Despite plenty of studies that show how parenthood and marriage benefit men, a growing body of research reveals that it's more of a mixed bag for bachelors than scientists previously thought. There are plenty of upsides and some downsides to staying alone forever. Here's what science has to say about single men. Uh, single men make less money. Ooh. Oh, oh. Um, I wonder how yes, that works. I don't know. Men who stay unmarried make anywhere from 10 to 40% less than wow. married men, studies show. There's evidence that fathers make up to 20%, uh, 21% more than men without children, and studies suggest that men with wives and kids work longer hours and put up with more workplace bullshit than single men. Now, this does not mean that marriage and parenthood cause financial success. Uh, indeed, other research argues that men are simply more likely to get married and have kids when their income is already rising. Mm, that's not science. Yeah. Either way, your unmarried, childless friends are probably making less money than you are. And I know that part of that is the, your need, your, your feeling that you need to provide for your, your women and children. So, and I did. Oh boy, I worked. I worked a lot of overtime hours and, uh, you know, pulled as many shifts as I could to have nice toys and provide for the kids. Yeah, well, you know, you can justify it. Right. I mean, I, you worked your butt off for it. Yep. So, single men, what happens to them when they stay single forever? Well, they have more friends. Mm. They may not work very hard, but single men know how to spend their downtime. <laughs> Studies suggest that they are significantly more likely than the average adult man to have several close friends. Since friendships help people live longer lives, stave off cognitive decline, and increase general well-being, close friends are precious public health commodities. Yet, one in eight men report not having any friends at all. A lot of these men are married with kids. <laughs> Yep. I was talking about that at work the other day, you know, when I was younger, I must, and, and this doesn't count on social media, how many friends you have makes no difference. No. In life, I probably had 20 or 30 friends. I played football for a long time and grew close with those guys and girls and, and all of that sort of thing. But at this point in my life, I could count on my hand how many people I consider to be <laughs> close friends. Confidants, probably three, and I, you know, married with kids, you bet. Yep, yeah, that that definitely happens, and you have, you tend to have friends also that are, like friends, and then you have couples friends. Oh, there's that, yeah. So it's different when you're married, right? Couples friends may or may not be, and we have a, I have a couple of friends who we do things with their their wives also. So we're, they're couples friends slash friends. Unless your so, wife doesn't get along with that other wife, true then enough. Then you got a problem. Yeah, true enough. Which I is on display in one of my friends' household. Uh oh. All right, next one. Yeah. Single men commit more crimes. I, I can say this is definitely true. Tell me more. Marriage reduces the likelihood that men will commit crimes, uh, and data indicates that becoming a father quells criminal impulses even further. In societies with a, a disproportionate number of men who cannot marry or have children, either result of polygamy or uneven sex ratios, we tend to see higher crime rates, higher rates of extremism, 
and more time at war across the board. Hmm. And I will tell you that when I worked in a jail, uh, a lot of those guys in there had, you know, girlfriends, sometimes multiple girlfriends that would come to visit them, but not a lot were married. And that doesn't, uh, it's not counting like your white crawler criminals. Uh, these are your guys that are out there slinging dope and, you know, assaulting people and murdering people. A lot of a lot of single people. Well, single men, um, they've got their problems, but they are more sensitive to feelings of judgment and regret. When men cannot have their own biological children due to fertility problems, they grow uh, go through a bereavement period and feel a sense of regret. Studies show, and when they can't have children because they can't find partners, they're more likely to be judged by others, and more likely to lash out. The perception of being judged for inability to marry and have kids has stoked the rise of a dangerous group of involuntary celibates or incels, a number of whom have orchestrated mass shootings. Married dads are far less likely to feel disenfranchised, at least in that way. So a lot of these guys are single. Yep. Yeah. Uh so there is a little good news about the whole bachelor situation, and it's that scientists are starting to suspect they've underestimated the upsides of being alone. Despite warnings of a loneliness epidemic, people who stay single and don't have children report deeper connections to friends, yeah. parents, and other family members, as well as to their work. Single people have a heightened sense of self-determination and are more likely to continue growing as people, one study found. Hmm. Single people are also also demonstrate more emotional self-sufficiency. So, hmm. so you know you know why married men tend to die before their wives? Because they want to. Nailed it. All right. Well, there's our um, segment on single men. And how they differ from married men. And I don't know which category you, our viewer, fit into, but we'd like to hear from you. Yeah. Uh, We're both married. Not to each other. No. <laughs> we got divorced a few years ago. Yeah. And remarried since <laughs> We moved on. Oh, yeah. And have kids. Yeah. <laughs> what about our kids? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've been married for close to 60 years. I was thinking about that the other day. It's true. T together. Come on. Almost 60 years. Uh, what does that tell you? I don't know. <laughs> and, I, you know and I also want to mention, I'm glad to know that I probably won't be one of those mass shooters <laughs> because yes. I'm married. It just helps. It helps in my decision-making process. <laughs> All right. Uh, that'll do it for our show today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe, like the channel, click the bell. Important. It's important. Do it. Muy Subs importante. Subscribe, click the bell, for our Spanish and speaking like. listeners, yes. And if you'd like, you can comment. Uh, we always get back to everybody that comments on our shows. Almost immediately sometimes. Yes. and uh, Sometimes even before you comment, we've already replied. Yeah, because we've got Big Brother. That was another episode <laughs> we did. <laughs> anyway, uh, our email addresses and all about our sponsors, our show ourselves. Oh, and by the way, please check out our website. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's called Men Are Smoke... <laughs> Smoke? Men are smoking. <laughs> you know where my mind is. Men are so smart.com, as if you couldn't read it on the screen already. You didn't need me to say it. All right, I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corbett Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Yep.